Welcome to a Business Minute with Lili Lopez presented by the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Today is a very special day because with me is Mr. Armando Trabanco, as I call him, Mr. T. He's one of the founders of the chamber and he was chairman of the board for three years. I don't remember if it was 2004, 2007, but it's around that era. But the most important thing is that he stayed active with us. He's part of the board. He's part of the, board, uh, the foundation board of directors as well and always present supporting all of our events, all of the causes of the chamber. And uh, so it's just an honor and a privilege always to have you here uh, at our offices and uh, just welcome. Thank you, and thank you so much for allowing me to, to come out today. It's great to be back home. Yes. Uh, I hadn't <laughs> been in, on the beach for a while, and it's great to see all of the uh, the, uh, the memorabilia that we have yes. of so many years of work in the community. So thank you for having me. So Armando, tell me, I know you're in Sonovas, and uh, I know Sonovas is, has uh, roots now in this community. I know it's a, a bank from Georgia. Uh, tell me a little bit about the history of Sonovas and what you guys are doing now uh, in Miami-Dade County. Are you in Broward also? Yes, I, well, we're in, in uh, five states. Actually, oh. we were founded in 1888 in uh, Columbus, Georgia. Okay. Now we're in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, and South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to uh, South Florida in uh, 2019, mm -hmm. uh, which has been a, a great uh, footprint for us, right. and it's doing very well. Okay. Uh, as you know, I'm the regional retail sales manager. Mm -hmm. I oversee Dade and a portion of Broward. And uh, although the pandemic has, has <laughs> impacted our community, the bank has still grown and has still done very well. So we're and very proud of it. I remember you telling me that you s still had the branches open during the pandemic and you had that, you know, personal contact, even though very, you know, with precaution, safety, because it's important to emphasize that, but, but your bankers were there for, for their clients. Yeah, that's one of the things that really separated us from our competitors. While right. many of our, our competitors decided to close their branches, we took a, a more conservative and, and proactive approach. What we did is we closed our offices, but we did right. have uh, business by appointment only. If the branch had a drive-through, they could conduct business through okay. the drive-through. Uh, Zoom, we all became Zoom oh. and webinar experts <laughs> uh, to really interact with our clients, right. and uh, you know, especially with the PPP. As yes. you know, we had a, uh, a seminar mm -hmm. with the chamber. Uh, with I remember uh, clearly you were, you were one of our speakers two times, actually. Yeah, and that was with uh, Joseph Schuford, which mm -hmm. is the head of our government SBA programs for the bank mm -hmm. out of Georgia, who did a great job. Yes, he did. But uh, when many bankers were shut down and their, their clients couldn't reach them, mm -hmm. well, they reached out to us. Mm -hmm. And so many of them became clients through the PPP program. They're back open, they're running, and so now we've gained a whole new uh, right. line of, of business right. uh, mm -hmm. just because we were proactive and we did you know, put our money where our mouth was and care about our clients. And you know, funny that you say that because um, I remember that, as to your point, when you're really active, people know about you. And us as a chamber, we were so active that people would hear me speak in the radio and they would call their bank. And some people say, my bank asked me to call the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So maybe it was someone in a bank, who knows what bank, who just heard me and they said, oh, probably these people are helping uh, helping the community fill out their PPP and unemployment. So we had tons of calls because of that. But as you say, because we were proactive, we were out there just like Sonovas. So tell me about all the, uh, the uh, uh, community uh, outreach efforts that you do, because I know you participate with us, and we did actually um, join forces about uh, six weeks ago for Mother's Day, uh, servicing Centro Mater families that are financially disadvantaged families. And uh, we gave 300 bags of food, meaning it was avocado, it was green plantains, it was a gallon of oil, it was five pounds of rice, it was 10 pounds of chicken. Okay. And you and your team were there, and, and it was so hot, so humid, but it was so rewarding. And we had uh, Commissioner and sen Senator, former Senator Rene Garcia, helping us. So tell me about that experience, because I know that Sonovas is very, always willing to help in everything that we do. Sonovas uh, has a program and it's company-wide, it's called Here Matters. And really okay. what it's about, it's about financial education, about providing mm -hmm. needs-based services uh, and health and, and, and wellness. And so right. we take it to heart. Right. Um, it's at the core of our company. And so, you know, on Mother's Day, it was mm -hmm. the Friday before Mother's Day, it was uh, it and that was like health and August. Wellness. And that was health and wellness. That's why we incorporated the avocado and the plantains and all of that to add some vegetables. It definitely was, but more importantly, a lot of people questioned why it right. was that we were doing that. Uh, right. They're saying, you know, that the government's giving all of these, you know, unemployment benefits right. and, and uh, food stamps and this, that, and the other. But what they failed to realize mm -hmm. uh, was that Centro Mater caters to undocumented individuals. Yes. And those folks don't have a checking account where they're going to deposit that, uh, 
that check or, or, or the, right. uh, the stimulus programs, they don't benefit from that. So mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure as a community uh, that we took care of those families, those mothers, allow them to celebrate that day, mm -hmm. have peace, uh, yes. and really just celebrate like we all did. Yes, and it was covered by Univision, and it was just such a nice day, and the parents were so extremely happy. All the moms there, it was car after car, just going around and just getting their, their couple bags each. And I had my, my team, I had Nestor yes, and Brian did. out there sweating bullets, uh, yeah, but they, it, they, they, they did it. <laughs> Yes. Uh, with a smile on their face because yes, they, they understood, did. you know, the importance of, of being out there and making a difference. And it was one of the most humid days we have had yes. that day. We were really sweating, but it was so nice. And you also help us with the uh, toy drive, also benefiting financially disadvantaged children. So I appreciate that effort. And you're always there. Sonova is always there. Your team is there. So that's something that we really value and we appreciate very much. And uh, also something that we are very grateful for is that you're part of our foundation um, that is presided by Felipe Basuto, he's our chairman of the board of the foundation, which we founded actually back in 1996. And we've granted over $780,000 worth of scholarships, paid internships, and the Education Enrichment Program, which is in a partnership with Southwest Airlines, which is a fantastic, fantastic airline that really helps minorities and helps Hispanic students. Uh, and we travel with students, and this year we can travel. So the Education Enrichment Program was part of a competition that we did. And you were there, you were one of the judges, so tell me how you felt seeing all those different teams making different presentations on topics of interest to the community. How, how did it feel to, to be one of the judges? Well, it was very interesting because the topic at hand was really how it is or what changes can you see moving forward after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so it was great to see high school uh, seniors come together in a group virtually uh, and put together a program mm -hmm. uh, of, of how it is that changes are coming. Technology was very important. Uh, you know, health and, and well-being was very important. And it was great to be able to see uh, from my aspect how it is that they're planning on financing these changes mm -hmm. and, and how it is that the financial markets work along right. with all of this. So it was great to be a part of it. It was awesome. And the best part was giving the scholarships at the end. Exactly, that uh, these students will be getting um, funds uh, that will be deposited directly to their college of choice. And we did try to, not, it not we wanted everybody to be a winner. So what we did was the four teams, we gave the, the first winning team more money to each student, but even the fourth team, which were the ones that were very nervous, but they did a nice presentation. And then at the end, uh, I remember staying with the teachers and the students. I told them, you did very well. I mean, it's your first presentation in front of people that you don't even know who they are. It's virtual. So it's normal to feel nervous. You did a great job because in reality, just by participating, you're winners. That's what I told them. Because you participate and you're a winner because there are many opportunities and many were told, asked to participate and many didn't. So they were winners as well. And that was something that really gave us a lot of satisfaction, just giving back to the community. And I feel that the foundation is one of the nicest programs that we have in the chamber. Look, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's really about helping these, these youth get ahead. Yes. Uh, whether mm -hmm. it be with financial literacy that we've done, quite right. a few Oof, of those yes. in, in the past. And, uh -huh. and it's really about helping them understand that there is, the American dream is still alive. They can exactly. still achieve. They can be whatever they want to be so long as they have those basics. So it's exactly. important for them to understand how the monetary system works how savings works, mm -hmm. how their credit works, yes. how you manage a checking account, how yes. you save, how, how you, you accumulate save. wealth, and it's great just to be a part of it. And and, and I want to stress, you know, Sonovus Bank is, is committed to it, and this starts from the top. Of course. This starts from our CEO, Kevin Blair, and it goes down to our Florida CEO that you know very well. I uh, wanted Sean's, to come to the next event, please. Sean I Simpson him. and our business development director, uh, Selena Wilhoyd, and, and the whole team. Everybody is committed to this. We understand that the only way you build a bank of course. is by building that community and Absolutely. building that foundation that grows. Yes, it is. So, it's great to be a part of it, and we yes. look forward to continuing to be a part of it. Yes, and I want to meet the CEO, too, as well. We should bring him to one of our events so he could taste the flavor of the Hispanic people, and we'll take him ha to have some cafecito, cubano, and or cortadito, because I know everyone who comes here loves the cortaditos. So, Armando, have I left anything uh, out no, that I, we need to emphasize? No, I think it's, it's great. We're mm -hmm. still, um, you know, as a community, and, and it's important that we understand that we're, we're still... Um, at the end, yes. tail end of, mm -hmm. of the pandemic, so we're not fully open. We still need to stay mm -hmm. uh, safe and right. healthy, but not lose sight of where we're going. Uh, right. and what we're seeing now is a lot of pent-up demand. We're seeing a lot of 
businesses that maybe weren't hiring that now are hiring. Yes, we're exactly. looking at a lot of folks that had frozen positions that are now opening up. Right. So I think we're going to see a boom and it's great to be a part of it. Yes. And I'm glad that we were able to to stay open yes. uh, and be a part of, of, of the community <laughs> as, as Synovus is so committed to it. So it's it's been great. We're looking mm. forward to a great second half of the year. If you can yes. believe that, we're already in June. Right. Uh, it's like 2020 didn't exist. <laughs> no, and 2021 is a blink of an eye. So exactly. it's great to, uh, to see mm. uh, everything happening and, and really proud to be a part of the foundation and support uh, yes, you and more importantly, the, uh, the, students the students that are benefiting from this. Yes. So thank you. So thank you, Armando, a, a board member of the South Florida Hispanic Chamber, a personal friend and uh, one of the greatest supporters that we have in the organization. Thank you for being on a business minute with Lily Lopez and we'll see all of you next week at the same time.